Hello everyone. Uh, someone told me a while back that if I have something to bitch about, I should put it on one of my vlogs or one of my uh, podcast episodes. And I'll try to keep it as brief as possible because it takes forever to upload my videos. I'm Sarah E. If you're watching me on YouTube, welcome to my channel of Sarah Universal Ethics. I talk about universal ethics, I sometimes talk about funny stuff and serious stuff, and um, one of the serious things I want to talk about might have a little touch of humor, and I don't mean any denigration towards Uber or Lyft or Uber and Lyft drivers. I don't envy them. Um, if that's how they want to make a living, I will respect that. Although I wish they would get treated like employees and get better pay if that's how they're making a living. Because sometimes I wonder if that's why they drive so fast sometimes when I get driven. Um, I know they're, they're very busy. I know they're, uh, they need their money. And um, yeah, well, passengers need lower fares. And passengers need to feel safe when they're in the car. And um, more often than not, well, I, I do know a safe driver from a driver that drives aggressively or fast. Now, um, if you're an Uber driver, I want to ask you a couple of questions with compassion, with empathy. What, it, what are your thoughts and feelings when you're driving? When you have a passenger, um, are you, uh, are you trying to get as many passengers as possible so that you can uh, make, make more money? Because I'll, I'll say I understand, because sometimes I, I have a gaming app, I use a gaming app, and I make a little chunk change on that, and I get frustrated when I don't, when I don't win. I get frustrated, I feel like I have to keep playing and playing faster and faster and faster, and lots of times I have to log off, I train myself to log off, and not play when I'm feeling like that. You know why? Because I burn out and um, I even lose my uh, focus even on the game because I'm so obsessed with uh, making the money or making the points. If you feel that way about driving, that can put a passenger in danger. Um, even if you're not an Uber driver, um, even even if you're walking when you're on foot, I know even as a pedestrian, I'm not someone who drives, but I used to ride a bicycle, and um, I would get frustrated when uh, people got in my way. But I had to follow a rule of thumb, and maybe I'm more vulnerable and I identify with uh, bicyclists and pedestrians more because I'm on a bike. But when you have walls around you and you have insulation, you might not identify too much with. Um, other other people outside your car um even i, I guess me on my bike i identified because i could still run pedestrians over i um i would get frustrated sometimes when pedestrians took a while to cross the street but i had to uh remember that that didn't give me any right to look at them look at them aggressively as if to say hurry up come on come on not mutter under my breath not huff and puff and not, you know, lean on my bike like, like I want to I wanna go, I want to go. Because I knew that was going to look threatening to them. And uh, by the way, my Uber driver last night, I think, almost ran over a pedestrian right on the boulevard nearby as we were making a left turn. Um, I think if it had been me, I would have waited th for them to cross. Because we, we made like a left turn around the pedestrian. And I was so scared we were going to run over that pedestrian. And um, the driver did not drive too fast, you know, on my way to my destination. Not that one. But I notice a pattern when people drive fast, when I'm being driven. They are in a big hurry to get around a car that is driving too slow, whether it's on the freeway or on the, on the streets. They are, they are trying to get around all the traffic. And I understand if they need to... Uh, get around the traffic. I, I, I might do the same thing. If I were in their position, I might do the same thing. You know, I might uh, try and drive around the traffic. But I swear, I can't help but wonder if they're, if they're like, mm, you know, I need to get around, you know, you're in my way, you know, like that. And um, when they do that, I notice that they, they jerk when they, when they, when they start moving. They jerk when they, they hit, and then they, then they gun the gas pedal 
and I wonder if we're gonna, you know, hit another car or hit hit a pedestrian or make a wrong turn somehow and get us, you know, get us hurt or whatever. And it's especially dangerous to me when we're on the freeway. So, um, I don't know. I, I don't want to preach. I don't want to tell people what to do. But I want to I wanna talk about mindfulness when we're in a hurry. And uh, if we're riding with someone driving like that, if we feel unsafe, I don't think that's crazy. So, um, and I, I give, I give drivers like that lower than five ratings. Usually I'll give them fours and I'm sorry, I have empathy for those drivers that, uh, might get, uh, bumped off the, uh, app. I honest to God feel that way, especially if they're using it to make, make their money, make their bread and butter. But uh, safety first, you know. Is it, is it money? At least, at least if you get. Now this sounds really harsh. If you get kicked out of your apartment because you're not making enough money and you're living on the street, you're still alive. You know, you're not in an accident and maimed for life and dead or in a wheelchair. At least you're not out on the street in a wheelchair. You still got your two legs, and you're still walking. You know, I'm serious. I don't want to end up in a wheelchair. End up you know, with my neck broken or whatever, because someone is in a hurry to get around another car. And then, uh, fast driving. I used to ride with a fast driver. Um, but I'll, I'll tell you something. They knew how to drive fast. They knew when to slow down. Uh, they knew when, when to turn and, uh, when to drive fast. Not when there's millions of cars driving around them and not when uh, they have to make tur- sudden turns or stop fast or um, or drive around other cars. I'm serious. That this, this guy who drove me home last night, he, dr- he drove aggressively fast around an oil rig, and I was petrified that we were going to run, run into it. I'm serious. And then the oil rig was right behind us. We got ahead of it. I don't know how he did it, but we got ahead of it, probably because he was in a big hurry to get around it maybe to get to his next fair, and, um, I was scared we were gonna run into it or sideswipe it, I was, I kept praying, please no, please no, you know, and, um, Uber and Lyft went, have counseled me and said, if you feel unsafe, cancel the ride, I don't want to cancel the ride in the middle of the road, and I'm not going to tell other passengers what to do, but, um, I, I never rate them a five when they drive like that. And again, um, I hope Uber, Uber can be easier on the drivers. Maybe, maybe suspend them or give them a warning, but not kick them out. Um, you know, just, just to scare them a little bit, literally slow them down a little bit. Not everybody wants to ride. Not everybody wants an adventure when they need to go somewhere. And if, you know, if you want to get more fares, I'm sorry. You might have days where you don't get a lot of fares, but uh, you'll you'll thank me for saying this, because uh, you might still be alive because you slowed down, and so might your passenger, and you might still be able to stay on the app for another day or two. And I have things to say about Uber for being a little too hard and perfunctory about kicking people out. You know, kicking passengers out or kicking drivers out so fast. It's about discipline, you guys, not punishment. Hate the problem, not the person. Be safe, everyone, and drive safe and ride safe. From your fellow Uber rider.